I'm Will Hafner with the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission, educator at the Potlatch Conservation Education Center at Cooks Lake. And it's summertime. It's hot. You're thinking about fishing. You're thinking about staying inside. Well, summer is a great time to do hunting projects, actually. Uh, today we're going to be repairing decoy that's been hit by some stray pellets. If you got any hunting buddies like I do, you probably have a few decoys that are going to need to be repaired. And summer is a great time to do it. That way come winter time, when hunting season gets here, you're not patching decoys, repairing decoys, and getting your gear together. You've got all that together and you'll be able to get out and get scouting so you can find those birds. Repairing a decoy, real easy, and that's what we're gonna do today. So what we need is a decoy. And you can even see from that, this one's got a pretty good pellet hole in it. Then to repair that, we're gonna want some Lexel silicone this is what i found works the best it fills the hole really good uh, makes a really good watertight seal and if you want to you can paint over it and then we'll also need a 1 8 inch drill bit that way we can drill the hole out to make a better hole so it will plug it even better so let's go ahead and get started All right, let's go ahead and get started we've got our decoy and at the end of the season i like to get all my decoys and check them for pellet holes, put them in a pile, that way I know which ones need to be repaired. This one is easily visible. Uh, if you couldn't see that one, what I like to do is squeeze, and if you can hear that, you can hear the air coming out, it means there is a hole. You can put your hand over it, try to find that hole, or even put some dishwashing soap, and you'll see the bubbles uh, when, you're, when you're squeezing it, so you'll know where that is. But if we were to put the silicone in right now, it might not make a real good patch. So we want to open that hole up. That's what we got the drill for. Go right on top of that pellet hole. And just drill in. Now, we've got a nice clean hole there that we can patch. So, we'll take our silicone. You can either get a small tube or you can get a big tube. But this is all I need for the decoys I'll be patching this year. And you'll put it right on the hole and squeeze. You want to get some in there. That way it will make a good patch and seal. Then you'll go over it. And that's okay if you got excess. Then just kind of wet your fingers. Kind of smooth it out. And that decoy in about two days it will seal, it will be dry and cured, and it will be ready to go. Uh, you just repeat this process until you get all the holes filled. Uh, you'll need to check the cracks, make sure there's no open cracks, and then check in the tail. You may have to fill that up with some more silicone. Now, if you want, once it dries, you can repaint it. But in my opinion, if you're worried about repainting that, if a duck can see that that needs more paint, it's probably about time to start shooting. So they should be plenty close at that point. But if you want to, you could touch that back up. That really, that's all there is to, to patching holes on decoys.